Hey, it's Dawn from Happy Home and Garden with John and Dawn, and today we're going to explore prebiotic fibers for making Lactobacillus ruteri yogurt. If you'd like to learn more about the Lactobacillus ruteri, I definitely suggest this book called Super Gut by Dr. William Davis. A lot of information in this book, and there's also a lot of YouTube videos that you can check out. So the three prebiotic fibers that we're going to do experiment with today is Anthony's brand organic arrowroot powder, also known as flour, organic chicory root inulin powder by Microingredients, and psyllium husk powder by Viva Naturals Organic. I hope to also create another video doing another comparison between inulin fibers because this is the one from chicory root and I wanted to see if there was actually a difference between this one and the Jerusalem artichoke but I don't have it yet still gonna order it so as soon as I do that and get the experiment done I'll post that so, so just look down in the description and you'll see if there's a link to it so for the very first batch that I had made I used four different products that gave me five different strains of lactobacillus ruteri so these are the five strains that I could find information from on Amazon it was based on things I could find in the review or the descriptions or the bottles themselves I actually wanted a little bit more variety, so that's why I chose these four. Now this one here is the Biogaia gastris. This is what you normally see in the recipes. And this is the ProDentist for gums and teeth. There's an extra strain in this one that is not in this one. This is the Super Smart Lactobacillus ruteri. It's super, thanks for asking. <laughs> and then this is the Vitamatic L. ruteri complex, which also has Lactobacillus rominosis, if I'm pronouncing that right and Lactobacillus acidophilus in it, which is normally what you'll find in regular yogurts. This is what I used for the very first batch. I crushed up the tablets and empty the capsules into the milk. If you're looking for any of these products, you can check the description below. And the milk I'm using is Simply Nature Organic Half and Half, which can be purchased at Aldi. Now on here, it does not say what type of pasteurization it is, but I did confirm with the manager that it is ultra pasteurized. Welcome to the prebiotic fiber experiment. Ha ha ha. We've got arrowroot powder, organic chicory root inulin, and also some psyllium husk. This is actually a brand called Viva Naturals. And these are all prebiotic fibers, which are a food source for the Lactobacillus ruteri. In this particular jar, I put in three tablespoons of arrowroot flour, plus three tablespoons of a yogurt that I had made oh. with a second batch. And then this jar, three tablespoons of the inulin and three tablespoons of the yogurt. This one here is psyllium husk. Now I didn't put it in the jar yet because as I started this experiment I used two tablespoons of psyllium husk and noticed it was kind of coming out kind of brown. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out but I'm sure it's going to change the color. Now I did heat all of these to somewhere between 90-95 degrees and that's about the temperature that's going in there. I put in 32 ounces of water. This is a an eight quart instant pot. So back to this. This is a little thicker than I had kind of anticipated. I was going to put in three tablespoons of the psyllium husk, but then after two, I noticed it was getting kind of thick, so I'm not gonna put the three tablespoons. But I did put three tablespoons of this. Now that I've put the one with the psyllium husk in there, you can obviously see the difference in the color. Uh, not that that really matters, but uh, obviously the texture and the taste is going to matter. And then this little jar here is the remaining of whatever I couldn't fit in the jar. I left about a half of an inch headroom on these jars here. These are quart size jars. And this is a uh, other random one. The reason why I'm using the three bigger jars and a smaller one and not a third one of these is for the specific reason that I'll show you coming up. So now I've got them in the pot. Now if you notice too that this machine here just has a yogurt setting, there's no temperature control on here. But I did do a test on this with uh, another batch of yogurt that came out absolutely perfect. I managed to maintain a degrees of about 101 degree during the final uh, yogurt, which was perfect. This machine here can hold three jars in a small one. Now it technically can fit four jars, but this particular one here needs to be smaller because this here gets in the way. This is at the back of the lid and because it's this like bumpy area it will not close properly and this ends up like getting in the way. So by using a shorter one it's good. So you can fit three half and half uh, containers. Again I filled up the I filled this up to a little bit. That's probably about a half an inch from the top and uh, this lid here is loosely placed on the top of that so they have some breathing space because you know these things like to breathe the bottom water is about 90 degrees 
and each one of these ranges between 84 degrees and 87 degrees. I did that so that it has uh, a nice cozy space rather than being, you know, going from cold to hot really quickly. This is the temperatures going into the actual process. So here you go. We're going to put the lid on. Give it a twist. Uh, this is off position. And oh, by the way, I uh, forgot to mention that there's no ring there. Apparently other people have been saying that it creates too much pressure in the machine. So I took that off. If I can get this back on. There we go. Yogurt. And put it on the normal setting and just let that start and we'll see you back in 36 hours. Alright, so our 36 hours is almost up. And let's see what we got. Let's see, we got, uh, ooh, that looks good. That's the arrowroot powder, and this is the inulin powder. This is uh, the psyllium husk, and it <laughs> looks purple. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, we're going to put that in the fridge and uh, see what it looks like tomorrow morning. Right, time to take them out of the fridge. Number one is the arrowroot powder. Number two is the chicory root inulin, and number three is the psyllium husk. So here we go. We get to see what they look like. I, I still can't believe that that's purple. <laughs> look at this. I mean, that is bona fide purple. Let's check consistency. Ooh, ooh that's nice. Wow. Okay. Let's see, now this one. Oh, that's got nice consistency as well. Actually, very close. Very close to that. And the consistency of this uh, little... Um, gel-like substance in there, but uh, we'll see how that works. Okay, so you're ready for the taste test. Now this is the arrowroot powder. Mm. Yep, tastes like it should. And this one is the chicory root inulin powder. Hmm, hold on a second. Let me try that first one. Oh, interesting. There actually is a slight change in flavor. It's very slight. I think that the uh, arrowroot powder is a little more neutral and the uh, inulin powder is actually a, a hair bit sweeter. Unless you actually had them side by side like this you would never tell but um, I do like the inulin powder a little bit better. So now let's try the psyllium husk. I don't know it's kind of purple. Oh, I'm kind of scared. It's uh, a little jiggly Oh, it's kind of a weird consistency. Oh, here we go. Might as well. Oh, wow, that's hard. <laughs> oh, it tastes like barf. Ugh. Ugh. Yikes. That is nasty. It has that flavor like, like you've just barfed and you had that like flavor in your mouth like barf. Ugh. Yeah. Nope. <coughs> yeah. Nope. No. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to try the other one where the three of them were mixed together. The top seems to be the psyllium husk. The inside has a nice texture. That's pretty good. So I did scrape off the uh, middle section into a jar and then noticed that the bottom of the jar has the rest of that psyllium husk. All right, so now we're going to try it. Let's see. I'm a little scared to try that top part because of the psyllium husk tasted like barf. Let's try a little bit here. I think that's that top layer with a little bit of the middle. Eh. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Once it hits that layer of psyllium husk, ugh, it just adds that barf layer. Ugh. This is the middle part here. Okay, middle part's not too bad. I think I'm gonna have John try them now. <laughs> See what he does. Okay, John, here you go. You ready to test these? All right. This is the arrowroot powder. All right. Hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. This is the inulin. Does it taste any different than the first one? This tastes uh, creamier. Like that seemed a little more solid, almost like cream cheese. This is a little smoother. They're very similar. They're both really, really good. 
I think I like this one a little bit better. Yeah, I found better. that the inulin was um, a little sweeter. Yeah, there's so oh, something. Yeah. yeah. All right, now this one is psyllium husk. Tastes like barf. <laughs> to me, it leaves that, you know, when you've puked and you have that barf no, flavor in your mouth? It's not that bad. Oh, for me, it is. It's, it's not nasty. like gross, but it's, yeah. It's, yeah, that'll yeah, way yeah, better. Yeah, here, you, you can, you, can, you know, yeah. wash your mouth out with yeah. the good one there. Yeah. All right, mm. so you like the inulin one. I like that the best. Yeah. They're very rich. They're very, like, yeah. filling, like, dense, like, hmm. So there you have it. There's John's opinion. Thank you. So the winner in the category of pricing is actually the hour root powder. And the current pricing on Amazon when you buy this four pound bag, it actually works out to about six dollars a pound. And the chicory inulin powder, it actually works out to about fifteen dollars a pound when you buy it in this two pound bag. So the hour root powder is definitely the better deal. Now in the category of texture, they're actually both pretty good. If you want something a little bit thicker, I would use the hour root powder. If you want something not as thick, use the inulin powder. And the winner in the taste category, well, I think you kind of guessed it. It's the inulin powder. It does have a slightly sweeter flavor than the arrowroot powder. So, you know, you can't go wrong with either one of these because they both taste pretty good. And speaking of tasting not so good, I was going to do something with that psyllium husk experiment, but... Change my mind. I'm dumping this. Maybe the animals will eat it. Get their probiotics that way. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's just like... Ugh, it tastes so gross. That was a $4 experiment. Well, at least it was only 4 bucks. And here's what it looks like the next day. This is like frozen blob of gunk. The animals didn't even touch it.